Hey, what up, Decisive Marketer? So I'm very excited to talk about this plugin right here. It's called WP Shifty. And this is a different product from Swift Performance, even though they are from the same company, right? So Swift Performance is a caching and image optimization plugin. But for WP P Shifty, it's a plugin and script management tool uh, or script management plugin, which is similar to Asset Assets Cleanup Pro as well as Free Soul de uh, Deactivate plugin. So it's like a mesh of these two, and I'm quite excited to talk about it, right? But before I dive into it, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content. Here we go. So Assets Cleanup Pro, um, I think everyone knows that um, that is possibly the best script management tool out there, uh, script management plugin out there. And in terms of plugin management, there's not a lot of plugins that does that. Um, except I think Free Soul Deactivate plugin would be the best one. <laughs> I it, it, um, at least that's what I know. So I'm gonna be jumping into WP Shifty. So um, you know I have already played with it a little bit, and it does seem very powerful and at the same time easy to use. Okay, so let me just jump in. Okay, so here we are. So it's loading. Okay, so what happens is you got to add in a condition. Okay, so you can click on one of this. Um, let's say you want to choose a particular post type. You can uh, choose, okay, so let's say I want post. I click on save and there we go. It's going to load up the page itself. Okay, so, um, okay, so you just click on uh, auto configure whatever so it's going to load up the post page right you load up a post type right here which is you know this is the site right here so there's a preview over here okay and you can look at other pages as well within the same post type you can refresh the page you can change the screen size right and then you can you know custom the screen size as well you can you know kind of open it up into the editor if you want to there's a advanced where you can add certain uh, headers posts data cookies or you can even set whether the user is logging or not so you can view what is happening right so this this section right here is just for you to set up the uh, preview right but actually um, there is a lot of conditions right here that you can set you can set based on page or post type or you know archive author search url admin pages ix shop pages front page front end everywhere query uh, query string user post data http header cookie user agent device chrome job cli so i don't actually know all of this right but page is quite straightforward just a standard page post type you can choose um you know uh which, which is in, in the default one that comes with wordpress is the blog post right your post uh and then you got archive archive will be like you know maybe your post uh, categories you know things like that and then you have authors so if you know that has to do with like your blog posts and who is the author of the page right search will be your search results your your search results page your uh, you can specify a exact url uh, you can have it load in the uh, or, or you can have the condition as the admin pages, right? The dashboard of WordPress, uh, and then the IX. Uh, I don't really know what this is. Uh, you got shop pages, which is you know anything to do with WooCommerce, okay? And then your front page. I guess this is the home page. Uh, front end means whatever that loads on the front end, right? So this this is the back end. This is the front end. This is everywhere. This is query string. So that means if someone comes in from like uh, Google Ads or Facebook Ads, you can specify a particular string, and uh, you know uh, show uh, different conditions uh, in in terms of what you want to load, what you don't want to load, right? And then you got user. Um, 
post data, right? So user, I believe you can set like, you know, what kind of user type, okay? And then uh, the post data, not really sure what this is, okay? Uh, HTTP header, don't, not sure what that is. Cookies, I'm not sure what that is as well. User agent would be like what browser they are using, I guess, okay? And then device, okay? And if they're, you know, Chrome job, not really sure what that is. So, uh, CLI, not really sure what that is as well. Maybe you guys can ask a much uh, more experienced WordPress user to help you with that, right? So, over here, um, so what happens is once you choose the conditions, right, you, you know, this is the particular page you want to work with, then you can uh, deactivate plugins right so this is like free so deactiv uh, deactivate plugin you can deactivate certain plugins from working or loading on this page itself okay so you can just kind of deactivate them let's say i don't want um let me see what i can turn off right here that will influence something right so for example here i'm using a plugin called read my post so if i turn this off then this is not going to load okay so now it refresh the page then you can see it is now gone right so the read my post is now gone so you can choose what you want to load what you don't want to load um right so that will help you to speed up your website because certain plugins just don't load on that page itself Okay, so next is CSS. So, uh, so CSS would be, uh, so your plugins, your team, what happens is that um, they would load CSS scripts, uh, sorry, style sheets, right? So uh, cascading style sheets. So, uh, it, so over here for custom, uh, sorry, for contact form seven, there is this particular CSS right here. So you can choose to disable this CSS, overwrite it. Uh, I don't really know what overwrite is. Probably you just kind of change the, the code or whatever it is. Okay, so let me just kind of close it. I don't, I, I probably wouldn't touch this at all because I don't know anything, right? So I wouldn't overwrite, but you can preload or you can lazy load, right? So lazy load, so lazy load is when that element has to load uh, as you scroll down then it will start to load uh, you know lazy right okay so the same goes for js right so js is the same uh, your javascript right so you you know they are you you, you will tell you whether they are set to defer so defer will be so defer means that only when you know the page most of the page is loaded before uh this javascript will start loading itself okay so that will be js okay and then there is a editor which is uh you know you can okay i'm not really sure what the editor is let me just kind of find out from their website <laughs> because this is pretty new um i i kind of find like you know this and this is all i need but okay Okay, I have a feeling like this one is just a much faster way to set things up. Okay, I think this is just like the editor, right? It's just if you are like, you know how to, you know the scripts to kind of um you know set things up for example like load behavior so for example you can maybe search for maybe woocommerce not really sure 
Okay, so if you search for, if you open this up, there's a lot of scripts in here. Um, I guess this editor is more like an easy way for you to set things up much faster just through this one single um, sort of form right here, right? And then you can just start working on them. Okay, so I think uh, at least um, I, I could be wrong, but you know, I think that that's what the editor does okay so it's a very simple plugin uh, but it does you know it, and and the ui is much better than ss cleanup pro as well as uh free so uh deactivate plugin okay so i think this is nice um i'm not sure what you guys think about it right because this is combining uh ss cleanup pro and this uh, what do you call that free so deactivate plugins all together in one so i kind of like this i would say right so let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below um, i definitely think that this is a great plugin to purchase because there isn't really anything like it um, there is swiss performance which does this uh, as well but it doesn't manage plugins okay uh what else yep uh you, you know uh, there is clear fee as well which kind of does this as well but it doesn't detect the script so well so i would say that uh you know the the best one i've tried is definitely assets cleanup pro in terms of the script itself right it, it detects all the scripts and uh, swiss performance also does that but Swiss performance doesn't give you that ability to you know lazy load a particular script or whatever it is so there is way more control with uh, WP Shifty itself right and then uh, SS Cleanup Pro and uh, Swiss performance doesn't have any uh, plugin management at all so I guess that's all I have to share about uh wp shifty i think it's an awesome plugin you know let me know what you think about it in the comments below if you know anyone who could benefit from wp shifty be sure to share this video with them lastly um you know uh, if you enjoyed this video do give me a thumbs up i'll see you in my next video bye bye